Hi, hello. This is Anoop here. In the previous video, I have showed you how to create device collections, what is static collection, how to create static collections, what is collection, what are the best practices while creating collection. In this video, what we are going to see is uh, creating a dynamic collection. So I will go to user collection create a dynamic user collection right click on that create a user collection right click on user collection node and create a user collection dynamic user collection uh, browse select all users as limiting collection say next Okay, this is the brain of collection membership rules. So in this, I'm going to select query rule. When you create a dynamic collection, you need to select membership rule as query, query rule. In this case, I need to create a query. I need to provide a name for the query. Okay, this is my query name and I will keep resource class as users resource and click on query statement go to criteria create a new query logic i'll select attribute class as resource user resource and attribute as name because i want to search with the name and i will change the operator to like and i will put a noob percentage percentage is wildcard click ok as you can see over here let's change the query statement click ok and I won't recommend to use this option use incremental update for this collection this is not needed for 80 percentage of the collections okay depending on your environment and I will keep schedule as the default I will say next and finish okay we are done with the creation of the collection now as you can see over here member count is zero and you can see a um, hourglass over here so that means collection is getting refreshed so you may need to wait one minute or so depending on your environment I won't recommend doing refresh or update membership immediately after creating collection so rather I will wait for one minute to get it automatically added as you can see now this is added seven members are added if you want to see the members you that will list down all the members of the collection so that is how we create collections how to organize collection there is a f option called folders you can create a color folder to organize the collection so for example I create a folder default I create a folder called default collection and what I will do is I will move all the default collections to that folder one two three these are the default collection so how to move these collection to that folder right click on those collections and click on right click click on move and select the folder so okay so those collections are moved to default collection folder like this you can create different folders for your departments if you want HR department folder HR department folder I can create a folder called uh, test if you want and move all my test collections to this folder I have three test collections okay move test folder so these collections are part of test so in the user collection route you won't see any any collections this is 
I like this kind of a method so I don't know like it depends on you whether you want to organize your collections in this way and for example if you want to delete a folder try this okay delete a test folder remember we have collections inside this folder okay it will say like folder cannot be deleted because it's not empty so you need to move all your collections out of this folder first then only you can delete a collect uh, delete a folder for example i don't have anything any collection inside hr department folder i can delete that folder collection folder no issues at all okay so that is it for today thank you for watching if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do so and please click on bell button to get notification about my new videos bye bye